Good morning, Washington! And all the ships at sea. How y'all doing, everybody? It's Dave TV. Camo pants today. These are one of my favorite pairs. Got the long pants on today because it's uh, supposed to be some showers later. So, uh... <laughs> crazy me. Insane, insane, insane. Insane in the membrane. Anyhow, it's the 28th of April, 2014. How are you all doing? I'm doing just fine. Okay, the big news today, the big news today is that um, Burt Weiss will no longer be the morning man there on WRQX, all the hits, 107.3. So I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about that. Another thing I want to tell you is that a lot of people are saying, Dave, 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 keep the Dave TV short. So I'm going to try keeping them at five minutes, okay? Lately, they've been 12 minutes, 13 minutes, sometimes 17 minutes. Then we're going to really stick to five minutes. So we're almost at the one minute mark now. So I got four more minutes. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So <laughs> talk faster. Now I'm like, my brain's going. I can't think. Okay. A year ago, they got rid of Jack Diamond. Jack Diamond was very highly paid. It was contract renewal time. And, you know, the station WRQX, all the, which was then called Mix 107.3, Hot Adult Contemporary, cutting the budget. You know, it's easy to get rid of Jack, da 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 But the problem was Jack brought a lot of ratings and money to the station. So anyhow, Jack's gone. They get Burt Weiss. Now, Burt Weiss used to be on Jack's morning show years ago. He's now based in Atlanta and does a nationally syndicated show, which does very well in some of the markets, including Atlanta. They figure, let's put Burt on in Washington. He's got a history here. He's known in the Washington market and, you know, with a lot cheaper. So they do that. The ratings of WRQX pretty much tank. There's no ratings traction whatsoever. And Burt never really catches on. So a year later today, basically WRQX is saying goodbye, Burt. At the end of this week, he's gone. We're going to put Marco, who's from the mornings. He's basically just a DJ. And we're going to have him do the morning show. Basically a music intensive morning show. Okay. So that's that. Definitely, Mark O'Brien, who's the head of Cumulus here in Washington, says definitely no Jack Diamond coming back. Because that's the first thing I thought was, hmm, what if they're bringing Jack back? And the reason is money. Dollar signs. I pulled up the revenue numbers, okay? Um, this company called BIA puts out radio revenue numbers every year. And you look at WRQX, and it's been not a pretty picture for WRQX. WRQX billed $19.1 million in 2008. That's a lot. In fact, that was good enough for third place in the Washington market in terms of stations. That's with Jack Diamond and Happy Campers, all that. Then you look at the next year, 2009, they billed 15.3. Quite a plunge. But then they were back up to 16 million. Then they were down to 15.2 million, and then back up to 15.9 million by 2012. Okay, so 15.9 million was good enough still for third place in the Washington market. Well, <laughs> and if I can get to this number here, then you look at what they did last year, 2013. Okay, and WRQX was 11.5. 11.5, which made them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th. They went from 3rd to 8th. You know, that's the main reason. Okay, you know, big drop from like 15.9 to 11.8 in one year. That's a huge drop. And I think, you know, the revenue numbers just, that's, that's more important than the ratings. So I think that's probably one of the big reasons. Um, the other thing was the ratings. You know, of course... The last monthly ratings, the March, showed Burt at 21st place in mornings. That's below all the other day parts. So 20th place in midday, 17th place in afternoons, 18th place in evenings, 13th place on weekends. And if your morning show, which is probably your big revenue driver, at 21st place, that's not good. So basically, you know, this, this, Mark O'Brien, head of Cumulus DC, tells me they're going to get somebody else in the mornings, a locally based show. They're working to put that together. And in the meantime, Marco will be doing mornings on 107.3. Now, you know, who knows? You know, Fresh 94.7 CBS put Tommy McFly in mornings and it worked. And now he's the permanent host there. So maybe Marco will work. I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, five minute mark now. Okay, we're going to go a few minutes, a few seconds over. 
because I can't tell you everything in five minutes. Maybe we'll go to a six-minute show today. Anyhow, I still think a format change, major format change for 107.3 is probably the best thing. Sometimes it's just too much problem to fix. Do a major format change. Do something radical. You know, DC needs an oldie station, a jack-type oldie station. Um, we could use some sort of a, you know, a mix of a, a Spanish station or something like that, a good signal station. The thing that RQX has is a good signal. It's inside the beltway, and that's that. So, you know, or you could move MAL to 107.3 and then take the 105.9 and do something different with that, like put a country format because that's kind of tilted toward Virginia, and that would probably do very well down there. But anyhow, I don't know. I would say my gut feeling is keep the music format, keep the, the top 40 format, whatever it is, bring back the Q107, the legendary Q107 logo. I would say let's get back to Q107. Q107! And then make it a real, I would put in, I would put it Spanish, I would bring in some Spanish music, dance, really heavy dance sound to it, Spanish, English, Q107, the new Q107 for a new century. For a new century, the new Q107 music and more. And I'd really do it kind of a really dance-oriented, hip-hoppy, Spanishy thing. Really mix it all up. A real mix, you know. But anyway, that's what I do. And I'm going too long. I can't do these things in five minutes. I can't, I can't, I can't. And when I get talking, I just go crazy. Let's cut it off. It's okay, we're doing a seven-minute one today. Seven minutes, that's it. Thanks for watching Dave TV. Uh, 55, 56, 657, 658, 659. Seven minutes!